Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, as most of us know and agree, Dillian White has been done quite dirty by the WBC. This is all our opinions and the fact that they seem to do everything that they can to keep Dillian White away from the likes of Deontay Wilder. I mean, for me and for most people, it's pretty obvious that they, that they just don't want to make any kind of ruling that would risk Deontay Wilder losing that title. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. And so far, Dillian White just hasn't been given a green light to fight the winner of Wilder vs Brazil, which of course is happening on May the 18th. And now Dillian White's going to be taking Oscar Rivas on July the 20th at the O2 Arena without any kind of WBC ruling. Okay, so in an ideal world, Dillian White will defeat Oscar Rivas and then straight away fight the winner of Wilder Brazil. That's the most common sense thing to do as Wilder, this will only be Deontay Wilder's second mandatory in over four years. And he's supposed to have one at least every year. So already he does owe them another two more, you would think. But of course, they're going to let him get away with it. It's what they do. But Mauricio Sunderman said to IFL TV that they have already had a vote within their WBC committee behind closed doors on what resolution should be done with Dillian White. And they have sent the resolution off to Eddie Hearn and Dillian White. And they're now waiting on Dillian White to respond to it and let them know, does he agree? And of course, does Eddie Hearn agree, etc., etc. So we don't quite know what the resolution is. But the face that Mauricio Suleiman pulled when Kuhn is asked, will Dillian White be fighting the winner of Wilder vs Brazil? Um, he gave like um, um, a no comment as in he's not going to add to speculation or anything like that. Uh, but right before he said it, he kind of squinted his face a little bit. That means no. In my, in my world, that means no. And Mauricio Suleiman knows that he's doing Dillian White day, is what he's doing. And the WBC, if they do not allow Dillian White versus Oscar Rivas to fight the winner of Wilder versus Brazil next, Mauricio Suleiman, you are a shame on boxing. The WBC is an absolute shame. Considering what we do know, various reports around, Shelley Finkel has confirmed this, Eddie Hearn said that he heard this, um, the team of Luis Ortiz said this. Adam Kalnaki said this. That Deontay Wilder will fight Dominic Brazil next. Then he will fight Luis Ortiz. Then he will fight Adam Kalnaki. So they're going to be skipping over Dillian White, even though he's number one in the WBC and been number one for quite some time and has a better resume out of the entire lot of them. But it's, it seems to me that the WBC are quite happy to do that. Why? Because Wilder versus Brazil, Wilder versus Ortiz, Wilder versus Kalnaki are all... PBC based. This is why I'm saying to you that these guys seem to have a very, very good relationship with them. And as Dillian White is not with the PBC, not really going to happen, is it? But hey, listen, I could be wrong. And I hope to be wrong. I hope Mauricio Suleiman has got scruples. I hope that him and his committee have um, morals about them and they know what is right and what is wrong. And what is right is to have Dillian White fight the winner of Wilder versus Brazil next. Not Luis Ortiz, who lost only three fights ago. Not Adam Kalnaki. Listen, Adam Kalnaki is doing very, very well, but he's still early on in his career. Okay, and he's way, way, way below Dillian White in the rankings. So it should be Dillian White. And if Mauricio Solomon, I find out that you have said no, I am going to kick off. I ain't going to lie. I am going to kick off about it because for me, it's absolutely disgusting disgusting. Now, if you look at all the rankings, WBC, WBA, IBF, WBO, I believe that the WBC, while it's not great rankings, is probably the better out of all of them. That's my honest opinion. But it seems that they allow Wilder to cherry pick. That's what they do. They've been allowing it for a long time. Why? Because he's American. They want to keep the WBC title in America on a PBC platform. This is my opinion. No, this is fact. But just looking at it, it seems very, very obvious to me. But I've got a feeling that Dillian White taking on Oscar Rivas is not going to allow him to fight Deontay Wilder, Dominic Brazil winner, next. And Mauricio Suleiman knows that. That's why he squinted his face. Because for me, if they have made the ruling that yes, he can, Mauricio Suleiman would have no issues telling that to the world. Eddie Hearn and Dillian White would have already announced it, surely. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But in my opinion, it's because Dillian White is not American. And second of all, he's not part of the PBC. And the WBC are going to allow John Taylor Wilder to take on Luis Ortiz next in a fight that we've already seen. And then Adam Kalnacki. So that means Dillian White isn't going to get a title shot for a long, long time. Because they'll probably allow a Tarson Fury to slip in there too. And if there's a possibility of Anthony Joshua, that one will get in there too. So Dillian White isn't going to get a WBC title shot for quite some time. That's the honest answer. So for me, if, it, um, if, if this happens, me and I hope all you guys get on the back of the WBC and just turn our back on them. Because what they have done with Dillian White is disgusting. Dominic Brazil. I, I like Dominic Brazil and I hope that he beats Wilder. But it's unlikely, right? But I think that they are doing Dillian White a disservice and they're always back in the PBC and no sanctioning body should be favorable to any promotional network, no promotional company, nobody like Bob Arum, nobody like Al Heyman, nobody like Eddie Hearn, nobody like Frank Warren, um, uh, Kathy Duva, Oscar De La Hoya, whatever it may be, no sanctioning body should be favorable to anybody. They should be totally impartial, but in my opinion, the WBC are favorable to the PBC. Just look at the rankings, up and down all the weight divisions, and, and you tell me that their WBC rankings are not stacked full of PBC fighters. Much like the WBO are stacked full of Frank Warren and Bob Arum fighters. And when I had um, Barry Hearn on the channel, what, two days ago, I asked him that question. Is this kind of thing going on? Or am I reading too much into this? Am I being paranoid about it? And he went, no, no, I'm probably right about this one. And it shouldn't be happening. Anyway, I mean, I'll probably message uh, Dillian White in a bit. Um, if he's not busy, I'll get him on the channel, but obviously he's in camp right now, so I mean, it's going to be difficult uh, to uh, try and get a comment on it. But anyway, you drop your thoughts below about it, click thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.